What is up bros and brats, I'm Ming Slasher, and today we are going to be looking at 5 easter eggs you may have missed in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, all of the easter eggs we're going to be looking at today take place in the multiplayer, so they're all on multiplayer maps in the regular games that you would normally play in Black Ops 3. Now, if you're new to this, I've actually done one of these episodes before, and if you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link down in the description. But if you have seen it, it was super, super well received, all of you seem to really like it, so I thought that, hey, why not, let's continue the series. And if you want to see more of these videos, all you gotta do is leave a like rating. Let's see how many like ratings we can get on this video. The more li like ratings we get on this video, the more likely I am to make more and more videos like this. So, let me know there, and if there's anything I missed or you knew didn't know about any of these, anything like that, let me know down in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's get into talking about these awesome, awesome Easter eggs. So when we look at these, the thing I want to stress is that everything we're going to look at in this series is going to have some sort of importance. Whether it's related to another Call of Duty game, Zombies, or whatnot, it's always going to be somehow important. We're not going to be one of those channels that go does something like this. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, today we are on Fringe, and as we go across this map, when we go in this building and look to the left, we can actually see on the wall a fish. Fish, cod, Oh my god, Illuminati, Easter egg. So the first example I have of this is an Easter egg on Aquarium. Now on Aquarium here, if you go towards the back of the map back here and look out into the distance in the water, you can see a ship. Now this ship just isn't any sunken ship. It is hijacked. That is right, from Black Ops 2, Hijack comes back in this game, not only as a DLC map, but also sunk in the background of Aquarium. Now, if you look at the pictures here on the screen, you can see the parts sticking out of the water compared to the parts that are actually on the map in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This is a really cool Easter egg, because not only is it cool that they can throw this in the game, it's actually easier for the developers to use this, because they already have the template for the map made. They can just throw it in the game, add some demolished effects to it, and then throw it in the water. Boom. You got yourself an awesome easter egg from black ops 2 and also just a really 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 cool addition to the map that you may not have noticed so the next one actually takes place on infection and now this one's a complete inception easter egg and what i mean by this is it's a map inside of a map yes that is right on fringe if you actually kind of just look at the side of the map because yes there is a map tilted on the side of the side of the map if you look at it at the right angle, you can completely see the entire map of a map from Call of Duty 2. The map's called Carrington. I don't know if I said that right, but it's also the same map as Chinatown in Call of Duty 4. Now, as you can see here on the screen, the map from Carrington is almost identical to what you're seeing on screen here, and it's really cool to see this. Now, what would be even more interesting is if Carrington was actually added as a DLC map in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Maybe? Maybe? Just maybe? Or maybe it'll just be fringe tipped on its side. Fringeception, maybe. The next Easter egg actually takes place on Fringe. Now, on Fringe, you're going to want to go over here to this building, where is actually one of the best places to hang out when you're playing free-for-all, but that's for another video. You're going to want to go over to this window over here, and inside this window, you're going to see three pictures. Now, these pictures are kind of like a salute to Treyarch's old games. One of the pictures of is of Black Ops, one of them is World at War, and one of them is Call of Duty 3. Every single one of them is actually a game Treyarch worked on, and it's really cool to see just their, basically cover art inside Black Ops 3. Next up, we're going to be looking at an Easter egg on Breach. And fun fact, Breach is actually my favorite map in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I don't know why, I really have no reason for it, it just seems to be the map I always do the best on. Now, what you're going to want to do is this building straight in front of me right here, you're going to want to go in here and take a left. Once you're inside here, there is actually a room with two Easter eggs that we're combining into one. And they are both things from Bla back in Black Ops 2. The first is the good old Riot Shield. Now this Riot Shield is just kind of sitting there in the corner, and I believe is the only place in multiplayer you're able able to see this. Now, it's just an inanimate object, it doesn't reflect bullets or anything like that. Now, across the room on the other side, you're actually able to see this small box laying on the ground. In this small box, there is claymores. A little just coup de gras to claymores. One thing I'm actually very happy is not in this game is claymores, but they are here in an easter egg, so that was kind of neat to see laying on the ground over here in the corner. So I've saved the best for last, I've literally never seen this on YouTube before, and it takes place on Stronghold, it's actually behind here off the side of the map. So you can see this little four-armed helicopter thing over here, 
This is not the Easter egg. This landing pad is home to whatever this is. It's not a score streak. It's just some sort of helicopter that they use in the campaign, like I said before. But this area you can actually not get to. If you go off the side of the cliff, you cannot get onto this landing pad. But on this landing pad, there's this little door. And inside this door, there's a fully completed room with these helicopter looking things that the room is fully finished, like this was supposed to be part of the map. The only area that's not finished is this little corner that maybe was supposed to be home to a staircase or something but literally this looks like a room that was supposed to be included on the map that they just didn't think worked out and left off the side but still for some reason left in the map because literally if you try to get to this and jump off the side of the cliff you will just die the only way to see this is in theater mode so i thought this was really cool and something i didn't even know existed so guys, that is all the Easter eggs for this episode. If you enjoyed, it'd be super greatly appreciated if you could leave a like rating. It really, really does help with the channel. And uh, if you didn't know any, just just one of these, maybe, I, I taught you something new today. It'd be super greatly appreciated if you could leave a like rating for that. Um, but let me know down in the comment section below. Did you learn anything new from this? Did you know all of these? Is there something I missed out that you'd like me to include in a future video? Uh, you can leave all of that down in the comment section below. Or message me on Twitter. My Twitter link is actually in the description below. But thank all of you for all the support you've shown recently on this channel it, it's so greatly appreciated the amount of support you've shown me has really helped this channel grow so thank all of you very very much thank you for subscribing and if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button i upload new call of duty videos every single day of the week and if that's something you're interested well we might just get along so thank you for watching and until next time peace out